So what can Hoppers look forward to for the rest of the season now? Where 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 can they go? Well, I think it's just a case of trying to win as many games as possible because they're not really going to get any further than mid-table. I mean, they've got a big game against Fylde next week and that's their massive derby, if you like. And um, They'll be looking to try and win that and just try and impress. And they've got quite a few good young players and I think if they can keep bringing them through and keep giving them games and giving them confidence, it only bodes well for next year. You mentioned that local rival game I mean that's a massive massive game and Fylde are on a great run of form at the minute I mean Hoppers lose that not a great way to end the season is it really? No not at all but I still think that really there's not much to play for and it's it's all a case of looking ahead to next year you know it's a big game at the weekend there'll be a lot of banter in the studio here between John and myself but I think Hoppers can win that game I think they, they have got the players too it's just whether they, they show their jackal or their hide on the day. We look forward to hearing that banter. What about news on Leo Imoliak? I mean, was he back or will he be back for a um, filed game? Well, he was back at the weekend. He picked up an eye injury against Leicester a couple of weeks ago, but um, I think it wasn't too bad in the end. And He came back at the weekend and he looks all right, and I think he'll probably he'll be one of their main men at the weekend, really. Him and Tom Brady and Marcus Jackson, like I said before. Thanks, Joe. Moving on to filed, and uh, John Collins has news on... Fold's hammering, really, away at Bradford and Bingley. They won 54-13. Um, how did it go, John? Well, very well. I mean, eight tries they scored. I mean, that's something you've got to be happy with, and it's their sixth win in a row in the league as well. So, yeah, they'll be delighted with their form, and uh, some more good news for them was that Caldy dropped points above them, so they're now only two points below them. So if they can grab that playoff spot, then uh, that's something they didn't expect because... Initially, they were seven points behind Caldy, so uh, their hopes for promotion are growing ever stronger. So, ahead of next week's game against Preston Grasshoppers, another massive game, as I've just said to Joe, uh, you reckon they can beat Preston? I do think so, yeah. I'd say on current form, you've got to say that Fylde are the favourites, especially having a home advantage as well. Derby game, so anything can happen. Uh, but it will certainly be a great game, but I just think um, Fylde's wingers at the moment, they've got the top try scorer in, in the division uh, in Ollie Brennan and they've got uh, Nick Royal on the other wing as well and the amount of pace those two have got is unbelievable and I think I think there'll be too much to handle for Preston. There's absolute anarchy in this studio right now. Joe Rimmer is looking at John Collins in a not very nice way. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this week. Um, thanks for listening. Um, be sure to log on to our website www.ukjournalism.co.uk forward slash the match for all other Preston sporting news. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>